This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. Today's video was a lot of fun to film. As many of you know, I absolutely love Oxblood. It's one of my favorite colors. It has a lot of red in it. Um, but I don't give enough credit to Burgundy, which has more purple tones. I think it's a really elegant and regal color. And luckily, the owner of these Edward Greens wanted a burgundy tone. So uh, this was a lot of fun to experiment with and uh, to try out. So acetone will really dry out your hands, so I started using butol gloves because I'm around it all the time. And butol is a chemical resistant material that will not disintegrate with acetone. You can get them off Amazon. Uh, I think it's like a 12 pack for $10. They're a really good investment and they've helped a ton. My only advice for this part of the process, which I think is the hardest, uh, the hardest part because it just takes so darn long, is just to be patient and to make sure the room is well ventilated. Uh, you don't want to be breathing in acetone fumes for hours on end, so just make sure you're in a well ventilated area and be patient while you scrub all that old polish and wax off. So here I have one pair comparing it to the other. And when you're done, and when you're ready to dye, the leather should look pretty pale. And uh, all that old wax and color should be off. So I wanted to dye with more purple tones, so Cordovan by Angelus is, uh, I think, the perfect color. I think they call it Cordovan because it's supposed to mimic the color of Shell Cordovan, which is called Color 8. It's a nice eggplant purple color, and I think it's going to work just fine for this project. And before I started, I diluted it with rubbing alcohol. And that's a good idea just to soften it up so it's not so dark. Uh, color 8 can be so dark eggplant purple, it can actually look black, and I didn't want that. Now these pom-pom cotton applicators really come in handy and you can get them at arts and craft stores. I got this, uh, it was actually a hundred for ten dollars. So look around, you could probably find them pretty much anywhere, they're very common. Or you can use a, a paint, a little artistic brush to uh, put your dye in. But I found these applicators work really well at evenly distributing the dye and really putting it in there. So I like to use them, and I didn't at first, I used to use brushes, but now I like using these applicators. Okay, now here is the second coat, and you don't have to wait very long, just wait about five minutes and then apply the second coat and you'll see it become more even. And uh, I always recommend diluting the dye with rubbing alcohol, so you can really control how much pigment goes in there. You don't want to start off uh, full force or you might get a darker shade than you want. So always dilute first and then you can gradually add shades and make it the color you want. Here you can see the difference. One is ready and one still needs to be dyed, um, but that's okay, just so you can see the difference. And then I'm gonna be adding a bit of a darker toe with black. Remember to be careful, add it gradually. Um, 
don't, don't rush this section. You want to make sure that it gets uh, gradually lighter from the toe up to the vamp. So it looks, you, you want to avoid a hard line. You don't want it to look too stark. I absolutely love this black dye, and I don't know where my dad got it. You just you just buff it when you're done, and it shines up really nice. He got it in Tijuana, Mexico, and uh, the shoe cobbler sold it in individual Sunny D bottles. So I don't know I don't know the brand, but it's pretty funny and it works really well. So here I'm adding some Bordeaux Saphir uh, shoe polish, and Bordeaux has nice purple tones in it, and that's exactly what I want. I want to avoid Hermes Red, which has red in it. So this is going to work perfect, and it's going to add uh, that shade of purple that I want. Uh, luckily for me, Saphir Pat Deluxe comes in burgundy and it has those purple tones I want. Uh, I wish the camera really picked up the purple of the shoe. It looks a lot more red here on video, but in real life it, it does look purple. I guess it just me it must be the camera picking up uh, the reds because they're just a lot stronger. Now, as always, if you need help achieving a mirror shine, I just recently did a very detailed and comprehensive a guide to how to achieve a mirror shine really quickly and essentially you're adding a lot of layers of wax uh, about eight or nine and then buffing after so first you have to add all those layers and if you want to watch that video I left a, a link in the description of the video I found it to be really helpful I've gotten a lot of positive messages so if you still need help achieving a mirror shine you can watch the video and you'll get all the help you need Okay, and the next step is to use water and rubbing alcohol. 
and that's really going to bring out the shine. So I add it to the uh, to the ice cube, and then I start to buff with my two fingers, and that's really going to bring out the shine very, very quickly. I've achieved mirror shines in less than five minutes. As you can see here, it just appears really quickly. Um, so don't be afraid of the mirror shine. Give it a go. Uh, watch my video if you need help, and I am pretty positive, almost can almost guarantee you'll get a mirror shine. So this one luckily came out really quickly, and uh, I'm happy with the results. Now when it comes to black edge dressing, Phoebe's roller is extremely hard to beat. It's really, uh, it's really affordable and it really gets that black uh, looking super, super shiny. So it's one of my absolute favorites and it always looks great. I'm actually really happy with the results. The shoes didn't come out as purple as I wanted. Um, that oxblood undertone is really, really strong, but in real life, uh, they do look a lot more purple than they do on video. I'm kind of shocked how red they look here, uh, but they do look purple, a lot more purple here in person. But overall, I like how everything turned out. I think they look really great, and uh, I'm sure the owner's going to love them. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.